Welcome back everyone, I'm Genevieve Moongarden. In this episode of the Spell Quests, gonna be learning a new spell on the Balance Wizard. This one is Power Nova. Young wizard, your devotion to the principles of balance has been exemplary. You are now ready to learn a spell more powerful than any I have already taught. I speak of the Power Nova. The forces of balance must be appeased, however, with a grand sacrifice in return for this gift. Equilibrium must be enforced. You must first venture to Dragon Spire, to the crystal mines deep within that flame-haunted place. You will likely find a grave threat in that place, and you must fight past it to find a single pure harmonious crystal. Speak to Zanetta Stormbreaker in the Crucible. She will tell you what must be done. When you have recovered a pure, harmonious crystal, bring it to me here. A harmonious crystal? I've no clue what one of those is, but if you're looking for crystals, the Necropolis is where you're likely to find one. Are you sure you know what you're doing, though? <laughs> the Necropolis is no place for a child. Even one as powerful as you are. I'd recommend trying the Hall of Glory, an old and deserted tower. Some wild crystals might be growing there. They sprout up like weeds. It might have what you're looking for, but be careful.
You carefully remove the harmonious crystal from the wild crystal growth. It feels perfectly balanced in your hand and chimes with a powerful, perfect musical note. You took long enough, didn't you? Ah, well. It gave me time to take a nice nap in the sun while I waited for your return. Let's see. This crystal would do nicely. Now we're just getting started. The harmonious crystal is in its raw and purest state and needs to be infused with the essence of a powerful creature that embodies a state of balance. In this case, I can think of no better example than the plague Oni in Mushu. In that horrid creature is an equilibrium of life and death. It carries disease, yet does not suffer from it. Go and defeat the plague Oni in Mushu and bind its essence into your harmonious crystal. Defeated, Aidiyoshi crumples to the ground and fades. A demon emerges from his still form. It is the Plague Oni.
Harmonious crystal suddenly glows with a sickly gray, then shines white again. Eventually, the two colors balance. Ooh, now that that annoyingly long dungeon is done. Let's see what you've got there. It looks as if the harmonious crystal has harmonized the purity of the crystal with the disease from the plague only. Well done. I wish they'd change it so you didn't have to do a really, really long dungeon from a previous world just to defeat one person or to talk to one person or... Yeah, those. We're only halfway through with the process, young wizard. Are you getting impatient? That's not good at all. In our school, we seek a balance between effort and reward. And the size of this reward means that your effort must be equivalent. I'm sorry, but the crazy eyes in your cobra there are just distracting me. This next task, though, is an easy one. Go to the ring merchant of Marleybone, a fellow by the name of Jared Banks. Ask him to mount the harmonious crystal in the golden casing, something worthy of its value and magical significance. Come back here when you've got that done. He got it, Jared. Oh my, that's the most impressive piece of crystal I've seen since that young clerk from Kent brought in a green one some time ago. You want a case him for that? I've got just the setting for you. Oh, don't worry, no charge. I enjoy working on projects like this one. Just a moment. Mr. Banks takes the harmonious crystal and sets it into a beautiful gleaming casing of yellow gold. There you go. It's a real piece of artwork, the combination of that crystalline setting. Be careful with it. You don't want to damage such a priceless object. Let me see that young wizard. Oh, creepy mask. Ooh, Banks has outdone himself this time. It's his finest work. One in a million. Now it's time for you to make an offering to the forces of balance. Take that priceless harmonious crystal in the gold casing to the Krakos Sphinx. Be careful not to break it on the way. Why does everyone think I'm going to break it? It's worth more than you can imagine. When you get to the Krakos Sphinx, you must throw the harmonious crystal against the foot of the Krakos Sphinx itself. Yes, smash it into bits. Why would you destroy such a thing? Everything is about balance, young wizard. To Ooh, get a pet a too. Spell. You must sacrifice what? something. Of Which pet do I get? <gasps> Hail Hydra. <laughs> All right, let's go wreck it. You heft the priceless harmonious crystal and hurl it at the Crocus Sphinx's big stone paw. It shatters into a bazillion pieces. <laughs> Wizard of Balance. Your offering has been judged as equal in value to that which you seek. Go now to our servant, your teacher Al Hazred, and he will teach you this mighty spell. Use it wisely. Hmm. It certainly took you a while. I wondered if you had gotten lost. I mean, seriously, is this going to take his uh, manners lessons from Cyrus Drake or what? Excellent work, young wizard. You've certainly earned this you got that right. spell. Use it to serve the forces of balance whenever it is cast. Yay! And I got Hill Hydra. The sad thing is, is that this is a level 48 spell. And my wizard is 76. Well, she was 75, but still. Oh my gosh. So behind on spells. I got to play catch up. So Power Nova does 665 damage to all enemies. Yes, we love the AoEs. Woohoo.
And the Hail Hydra gives you a Hydra card. Nice. Thanks so much, everyone, for checking out this quest to get the Power Nova spell for my Balance Wizard. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hail Hydra.